All right, yo. What up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo, never been a lame O. And I, I was caught trying to put my Blistex on before you said that, but this is Jay Willie, the podcast Should I run killer. it back? Nah, a.k.a. Podcast Poppy, a.k.a. The Pie Father. This here is Willie Wednesday. You about to get some ghetto news ghetto from your news. relationship gurus. My lips is chapped, but we going to do it like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh-huh. As I rub my lips down, how was your week, brother? What's going on? Talk to me, man. What's going on? Uh, as I flick bugs. How art thou? It is summertime in Atlanta. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a fact. It's a fact. <laughs> Shit. Mm-hmm. If y'all notice, there's fans in the back. Because mm-hmm. God damn it, it's hot. Mm-hmm. But we going to make it work. <laughs> nah, shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Um, now nah, the week was good, bro. It's been my first week since I had my whip. <laughs> you you know, know what I'm saying? I like the weekly progress report, you know though. Saying? It's like, I'm doing better than last week, yeah, nigga. Yeah, no, for real. Last week, I got it. This week, I, I got it. You okay. know, I got, I'm driving now. I'm mobile and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm excited about that, man. Like, mm-hmm. come a long way. A um, couple things that happened. Um, January 2nd was my mom's birthday. So January 2nd. July 2nd. Okay, bad. I'm about to say okay. My bad. I know, right? I'm <laughs> celebrating six months later and shit. <laughs> So July second, uh, July second, a few days ago. Happy um, birthday to Mama Damo. Happy, yeah, yeah. That's uh, a fact. And uh, you know, my mom is a twin, so yeah, yeah, I got yeah. To, you know, holler at my auntie, man. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my auntie. That's what's up. Um, also, July first made a year in Atlanta. Officially. Officially. Oh shit! So Anniver- J- July it's your 1st, anniversary. Anniversary. So we got a place to live. We got a whip. Come on now. You know what I'm saying growth. Man? But it's been a year. It's a year. You know what I'm saying? But Establishment. I'm pretty proud of myself. Established. I'm pretty proud of myself, guys. The like, glow. I did a lot. Like, Big bags. Yeah, like I'm fucking with it. You can't do it like we do it. That's it, man. Keep going. I got you. Um, I got your back. I got the follow-up. <laughs> Y'all no. niggas could never. But, no. But <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got your back. Go ahead. You want no, another man, one? But, but, no, no. I just, um, I feel good, man. And, and we've been making progress. Mm-hmm. And I, um... I was talking to a girl the other day, and she said, "When well, y'all up north, East Coast people come down to the South, y'all be hustling and grinding." I was like, well, oh, man. "Yeah, like, what, what why would you, you expect? Not, you know." What she was you? saying it respectfully, but it nah, was just yeah. like, "You think we not, nigga? Like, what is- listen, we not gonna see all this, all these resources and abundance man. and and just wealth out here and not partake or what? Why do we not do that? We won't do that." So, man, it's just been it's been a beautiful week, man. That's what's um, up, man. Proud I've of you. Had, I've had I'm proud a chance of you. To appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I've had a chance to drive around Atlanta. Mm-hmm. In your own shit. In my own shit. Got it. I ain't got to give it back. I ain't got to worry about nothing. It's mine. Bruh, mm-hmm. it is so many prominent black neighborhoods oh, no, no, no. Al- in Atlanta, bro. Bro, them niggas is doing it down I've here. I've never seen this before in my yeah. fucking life. Yeah. Like, I, I- love it. Like it's you be like, driving around with these houses, these cave people, these black people. You know, yeah. you be driving these cave, these are yeah. black people too. <laughs> like you, nah, man, bro. I love the energy. Everybody is business owners. Uh, talking to another lady, and she was just like, she inherited land. She was like, but it's in a, it's in a, it's in a place where she has 19 acres, but that area has more land to buy. Mm. So she was on some. She's gonna expand. Do you want land? Because oh shit, I know a place where you can get putting you acres, on acres, acres. Yeah, How about yeah. that? Yeah. Putting, putting you on. She wasn't saying work for me. Wow. She was saying. I can give you generational wealth. Bruh. I was like, I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life. Uh, but. No, no, in abundance, though. No, but. I always know one, two niggas getting it. But, but once but again. I've never but seen once this. again, this is, this, is, this is the curse of New York. And, bro, I'm a New Yorker through and through. You know that. Yeah. I love my fucking city. You can't right. tell me nothing about my city. But we don't. More times than not, <laughs> we're not quick to help. No. And we're not quick to pass on information. Right. It's like the the, the dog eat dog, the, the crabs in the barrel type shit. And down here, I, I, I've been here for a year and some change. I haven't seen that mentality. No. I see niggas willing to help. What you need? Oh, my cousin do that. Right. This is the number. I am Call so him. I, I'm a, I'm, everything is like already set up. And I just like that people are willing to not only give you information, they willing to show up. There's... If you have a thing, they, and they, they like, I'm going to pull they up. They popping they out. They pull up, yeah. they pop out, they bring people, they yeah. support, they, you know, it's like if, if you're a comedian, they, they they come ready to laugh. Yes. They're like, this guy going to be funny. Yes. Tell us jokes, sir. Like, yo, what the fuck? What is yeah. this? <laughs> this weird. It's the, it's the total opposite in New York. <laughs> and once again, I love my city. 
New I love York, Chicago. New York made me the man I am today. Yeah. And I love myself, so I love my city. But when you see, Ooh. when you see outside yeah. of that, and you right. see how other areas move, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. So I, I, I don't have to be defensive right now. Right. I can, I can really network and right. it be real. Wait a minute. There's, there's no hate at all right I, now. Bro, I rolled up to a trap spot. Um, to drop off something. It wasn't to the trappers. Mm. <laughs> had to drop you off something. You sound real drug dealer. I know, I know, right, right. You I pulled up saying? to the trap dropping something All off. Right. So I had to drop off something to someone. You got some work? Okay. Right. I, it wasn't work. You no. got some work? I was working, but it wasn't work. <laughs> but okay. it was mad niggas outside. Yeah. Guns. Whole shit. In abundance. In abundance. No, <laughs> for real. A plethora. Whoever you are, nigga, y'all had a lot of guns. A plethora <laughs> no, of guns. No, for real. Like, I thought they was... And this is like, in Atlanta. I'm, yeah, in Atlanta. Got you, okay. This was maybe... This was a, a week or so ago. Okay. And I guess I had the wrong house. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you already know I'm going. That I pull up, this up, mad like, niggas and guns and cars. I guess they go ride out on somebody. I don't know. They was like loading up and shit. Yeah. And I'm just walking up like doop doop doo And he's like, yo. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit, New York. Here we go. <sighs> you know, get the face. You get ready to fight. What's Yo, what good, up? nigga? You know what what's I'm saying? Like, what's up? What you talking about, you, talk about, you, know, nigga? you know how he pulled you? What's up? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, where you going? <laughs> I'm like, to da da da. Oh, yeah, that's next door. I'm like, oh. oh thank you. Thanks, kind sir. sir. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, when he's talking to me, he has a gun. Tucked under his pistol. shit. No, but in his arm. Yeah. Like, because I guess he was about to do this, but he saw me and was like, all right. What you got? And I'm like, okay, but he was like, he look, he was no, for real, he really helped me. He was like, <laughs> no, oh no, seven eight, no, that's seven eight right there. No, you had your numbers transposed. Yeah, this, this 81. <laughs> it happens. You know what I'm saying? I get it. It's 78. It's 81. That nigga had manners. <laughs> <laughs> he had, Yo, you met a you met a, a mannerable, is mannerable, a mannerable thug. But then after this. The nigga like, skip it. All right, niggas, we out. Nigga, fuck them niggas, we out. They riding out. I'm like, gang, what the fuck? gang, nigga. I'm like, How the fuck? But you just gave me sound advice. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, he, he was so nice. That's hilarious. Thuggy's really thuggy dude. Like, I mean, listen, face tats and shit. Southern like, hospitality. They're like, going to make sure you good. Bro, he was Southern so hospitality. Nice. I was like, thanks, man. But, but, you, but you know good what? Good luck that, on your shooting tonight. But, I don't know but, what but you know what that is? <laughs> I guess down here. Hope you rob with, with, well. <laughs> listen, listen, listening to that story, I guess down here, it's only up for you if I have a problem with you. Right. Right. In New York, it's up for you. If, if even if I don't know you, it's up for you. Yeah, it's up as soon as I leave my house. I, I gotta be up. It's and up. That is way worse in Chicago. Oh, we got a friend. Oh shit! Look at that it's motherfucker. Not a roach for the people thinking. No, nah, we ain't dirty. We ain't. <laughs> that's that's some shit. But keep going. You that's said, the shit that flies. That's the shit that scared me a few minutes ago. Cause it jump on you. <laughs> nah, that shit looking at me. Uh huh. Yo, watch, watch, watch your mouth, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you say you said something about Chicago? You said? Um, it's worse in Chicago, or at least I haven't been there in a while. They tell me it's bad. Regular, everyday niggas get robbed for mm. doing nothing. And just, like, when I was growing up, yeah, they, they jump, bro. Just don't be scared. That one just jumped, too. It's another one. Whatever they are, they jump, and they're, like, stupid. Like, they're, mm. not, they're not smart bugs. <laughs> no, but go ahead. Anyway, growing up, people would just fuck with you. Mm-hmm. Like, if you just walking down the street, let's say your mama sent you to the store. Mm-hmm. You go in the store to get some regular bread and bologna. If the wrong niggas outside, you got to, like, not go to the store. Cause, oh, that that was New York. Because they're going to fuck. It's like, but why are you fucking, bro? I, yeah. you, I got grocery bags, fam. What block what? you from? Yeah. What set you claiming? Right. Why you wearing red? That's it. I remember that. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, it was a little bit more calmer in New York. But down here, niggas don't. Just fuck with you for the sake of fucking with you. It got to really be up with you. It, ha- Crazy. it has to be up with you for real. I'm not just fucking with you because Man. I just saw you. They also, respectfully, they respect baby mamas. They respect kids. It's a code. Yeah. I fuck with it, though. Well, uh, I don't know because cause, well, cause young, y- young thug's baby mother got killed in, in front of a fucking bowling alley at a kid's party. Okay, that's everything like, I just said. Like, every, <laughs> thank you. Everything you just said. Uh, that negates everything. All but right. once, it's, that, that might be an anomaly. I don't know. It might be the, the, the anomaly. I don't know. Well. But that was, that's that. Anyway. But that, that was your week. That was my week. Yeah, <laughs> cool. my bad. All right. What my week, you? pretty dope. 
Uh, I told you they jumped. Now nah, you a big baby, <laughs> okay? You just got scared <laughs> for real. <laughs> 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 oh, on I told God, you they, they jump. <laughs> but nah, but my week was pretty dope. Um, I got a whole week off from work, unexpectedly, and it was just amazing. Oh wow! You know when some shit fuck up and they gotta come fix it, but if they don't fix it, there's no work. Oh, at the job. Yeah, at the job. No, oh, like wow. I'm talking about like real life shit. Like, yeah. So at the job, some shit fucked up, and it's still fucked up to this day, and they're, they're working every day to fix it. Wow. But they can't fix it. But I'm, you know, my money guaranteed, so I, I'm paid. So you broke it, basically, what you're saying. No, no, I didn't, I, I didn't break no, you it. Didn't. You I it didn't break a thing. He gonna set it up and then try to act like it. I'm just saying. Okay. When it comes to the week, wow. I've, I've had the whole week to, bro, I worked on so much music. Yeah. I worked on so much shit for this podcast. Like, it's, I've reached, like, I networked for real. I nice. popped out to places. I spoke to people. I just did shit that you would do if you weren't attached to a job. Because uh, you know what it is? Like, we do a very good job of masking what we do yeah. in, in our day life type 100%. shit, right? We do a very good job at that because we're personalities. Yeah. But well, we, I mean, I'm a personality. You kind of like. Got yeah. you. I'm, I'm working on it. Cool. Cause, so you're a personality. <laughs> I'm working on it. So with me working on it, I'm trying to, like, maneuver through this space of I got to work for somebody, yeah. but then after that, I work for myself type shit. That life which, is very hard. Which is a crazy... Bro, I give entrepreneurs, content creators... Oh, I give... Bro, man. because because your favorite content creator probably works for fucking Pizza Hut. I was trying And to... then, like, sits home and then creates 30 hours worth of content that you can laugh to on TikTok. But I we can't... don't think about that part of it. Oh, my phone's over there. I can't quote the post, but it was one of the illest posts I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. It said, the hardest thing in life is to work for somebody while working for yourself, while working to change the fact that you're working for somebody. Yes. But then working to work with and for people yep. to help them work on themselves. Yeah. So that you can work on, and it was just like work after working after yep. working after working, and, and, and was, then raise a kid. Right, I was just like, yo, <laughs> it was such a great post. I was mm -hmm. like, man, because it's true. Like, mm -hmm. we're working like three and four times worth trying to just yeah. fit, navigate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That shit is. But, so, so to be honest, oh, see, so we've stumbled upon a topic. When people say we have the same 24 hours, <laughs> I, I, I disagree with that statement. Because, yes, we do have, in, in, in your math, you're correct. Everyone has 24 hours. Yes. But the individual who does, who, they don't have to wake up and clock in and work for somebody. Right. They have more 24 hours than the, the average person who does have to work for somebody would have. Right. right. Because when I'm at work, sure, I would love to be writing a verse right. or writing a verse for somebody else. Or working on a beat for somebody, or mixing vocals, it's or making already. phone calls for a podcast, or trying to set up a meeting for somebody. I it's would love yeah. to be doing that, but no, I'm doing what I have to do so I can make money to provide for what I want to do. Right. So the same 24 hours to me is not the same 24 hours for everybody. No. So I, I, I kind of, I kind of despise that statement because it's, it's passive aggressive and it, it, it puts a um. It, it shows it, sh it, sh it it puts a negative light on the people that are working, but they they just haven't made it yet. Right. Because now it's like you do all that work, but you ain't made it. But you ain't make it because you're not utilizing your 24 hours like I am. It's like fuck you, bro. What are you talking about? That's crazy to me. But it puts a. It's also. Well, the people who say that kind of shit are mm -hmm. the people who feel that they've put in and did their 24 hours, like. They, they feel like they've worked their 22 out of 24 hours. Got gotcha. you. And now that they've, you know, paying some sort of success, mm -hmm. now they're looking at you like it's, it's – so I'm not trying to – I agree with you, but I just want to give you the other side of it. The reason they say it is it's because it's kind of like I put my work in in the gym. Don't get mad that I'm shooting shots. You know what I'm saying? Like I killed myself already. I'm here. So now my 24 hours is different than yours. But I agree. It, you saying it makes it diminish the other person, but I don't think that's why they say it. No, that's, ask, that's exactly why they say it. <laughs> but if you ask somebody who really worked hard, like, like if you ask a LeBron James. But I want to stop you there. You, like, I want to stop you there. Okay. 
yes, LeBron James really worked hard. But his whole life. No, though. no, yes, he worked really hard. He was also giving a set, he was given a set of skills that, oh, no, I'm sorry, a set of attributes that others don't have. What, right? big dicks or something? I don't no. know. Joking. I'm everybody, joking. Not, not everybody is 6'8", 240, back, wild athletic. You don't work to be 6'8". You're given that. You, okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's certain things that you are given, right? So because you are, you, you are given something, and then you work. But because you're given something, you start off at level five when the rest of the world starts off at level zero. And we have to work to the level five that you were given and then put in more work. And now you're at level 10 after only working five levels and saying, oh, y'all niggas got the same day I got. <laughs> y'all ain't working. It's like, no, fuck you, bro. You I were hate given. To disagree with you, but I, I mean, have to disagree. Okay, that's cool. Let's, let's, let's do it. Because I feel like we play spades. What I love about spades is you have to deal with the hand that you're given. Whether you – you can have the greatest hand in the world, bro. How many times have you had mad good spades cards and y'all lose that round? Never. Lies. I've seen it. What? If I, I got mean, a handful of spades, we wilding. Boston, no, nigga. No. <laughs> we but, not, but I'm not talking about you know you have the winning cards. You just look and be like, yo, this hand here, right? No, this hand here, nigga. Dame. You still not feeling what I'm saying? You're a singer. Yeah. Right? You can sing. Right? Cool. So, because you can sing, where do you start off on the music scale? Zero being a person who can't, ten being the best singer in the world. But I'm broke. No, 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 so no, what the fuck? no, no, Dame, Dame, you can sing. I'm not we're, that broke. We're, we're talking about the the, 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 the the talent of singing. Okay. Because you can sing, where do you put yourself at the very, very beginning? I start off as a nigga that can sing. Which number? Zero being you can't, ten oh. being is the best. Oh, 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 yeah, well, six, seven. Six or a seven, six. right? So a nigga who can't sing yeah. that goes to school to learn how to sing, okay. they, but they hire the vocal coach, the vocal training. They go to camp for this. They go to all the writers' camps, and they do everything right. to become a six or a seven. You started off a six or a seven. Right. So then you go through a half a year of some bullshit <laughs> and tweak your skills, and now you're – Extra dope. But now you're on social media like, y'all niggas just need to, your 24 hours need to, I mean. <laughs> but, yeah, but, okay. but, the but no, I, you were gifted something that the other people were not. But I also believe, um, you're not wrong. I don't disagree. It's a yes and. <laughs> okay, yes and always works. Yeah. Um, you're not wrong. Like you say, I'm not 6'8 either, you know. Um, so imagine if somebody 6'8 was like, oh, just work harder, nigga. Like, what the fuck? No, 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 no. But, <laughs> You're 6'8. No, no, you should the, be dunking. But, but the reason I bring up cards is because that's why I like spades. You can't help what you're given. It's, you got to play it. It's a, You got to play it. And that's what's important. Got gotcha. you. So, yeah, LeBron is 6'8 and he's mad athletic. But what if his mom didn't support him playing sports? Now you're the big tall nigga working at Taco Bell. Can get all the top of the shells from the goddamn, you know. I'm, I'm one of those people. I was naturally athletically built just in general i get it i get it that's a Boy, fat joke the jokes you just started coming i saw, nigga. I saw the face oh shit but even that <laughs> fuck it i'm built like a linebacker i'll take that all right okay i'll take that okay but that's still natural it is but my and it's mom, athletic but my mm -hmm. mom told me i don't want you to play sports mm -hmm. i don't want you to get hurt so to this day i still tell you i have problems with discipline because waking up and going to practice i never did it yeah. Like I, you know, I, I had, you know, and yes. Like thank God I had something else mm -hmm. that caught, tickled my fancy. <laughs> you know what I'm no, thank God I had a talent. Right. That I can sing. Because my nigga. But what if, if you don't have that talent? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. What if you a big ass nigga? You ain't. You never use your athletic shit. You know what I'm saying? Like so, fuck, man. So, but the reason I say everybody has a skill. Or okay, I'll go one step further. We all have some sort of purpose. Agreed. Right? I think our job, no matter what skills we have, no matter, no matter what hand we're dealt, mm -hmm. you should try to walk 
in your purpose or find it or get closer yes. to it yes, or whatever. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. I'm with you. Because maybe LeBron wasn't the best. Like, they, everybody says Allen Iverson was a way better football player than he was a basketball player. In his city, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. But, yeah. No, like, but seriously. It's like niggas, he, he ran through Virginia. Like, he that's did. That's what I'm saying. He did. He fucked them up. Like, niggas who got NFL rings are like, no. Bubba Chuck was legit. Bubba Chuck, yeah, Bubba Chuck he was, was like, fire. fuck his basketball. Yeah. We love his basketball. But, my but nigga, that nigga on the football field was it. different, yeah. So, you, he was the first to, Michael Vick. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You got to walk in your purpose. I think no matter what you're giving, you could be given 6'8", but I also think that 6'8", athleticism naturally, but then a mama who supported, who took you to practice, who helped cultivate your game. Mm-hmm. Because I know a whole bunch of six. My, I was talking about my cousin. My, my cousin was 6'8". He had epilepsy, though. Imagine the irony. LeBron with epilepsy, my nigga. You can't get hit. You can't bump him. You can't. If he trip and fall, he, you know, fucking seizures. It's like, God damn it. It's like, why, guy? Why would you do this to that man? I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, my little my little big ass cousin, mm. bigger than everybody, can't play sports because he got epilepsy. Big as hell. Uncoordinated. Nigga, but walk. you also got cousins that's in the fucking NBA, so damn, but, fuck you, but bro. That's what I'm saying. No, because you talk about a lineage that's good. You got good lineage, nigga. We are African people. We are. Af- okay, stop. No, no, stop it, bro. You no, no, because your your direct bloodline, you are linked to the NFL and the NBA. No, am I incorrect or correct? Or just the NBA? I know I, I'm in the ballpark. NBA and base. Cool. And, um, and um, uh, uh, NBA. Cool. M- so, M- M- uh, Major League Baseball. Ma- cool. MLB. MLB. So you, you are linked directly to the yeah. NBA and MLB, which yeah. means there's a certain level of lineage that runs, like there's a bloodline that yeah. runs in your family. You're not the run-of-the-mill regular nigga. You also are six, you're a six-footer your damn self. So, once again, you were given a set of skills that but we... I use, but I use me the, as an example just because my mom literally... Stop me from cultivating a certain. Yes. Yeah, so you. Yes. Your mom didn't want you to play sports because she didn't want you to be like your other family members who got traumatized with hits and blah 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 Seriously. blah. I get that. But you have a talent, which was singing, right? First. What is first? First. And yeah. then you developed everything else, but yeah. it is centered around the fact that you had a voice. You can sing, right? So what I'm trying to say is, it's unfair now for you to say, work harder, nigga. What the fuck. What if you can't sing? <laughs> what if you go to your you go your whole life trying to be Damo the singer? Kanye. But, but, but Kanye cannot sing. But I was exactly, and it comes off that way in his records because he's not a singer. He can't sing. But he no. He's but, done everything else. No, no, but 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 he but he was also talented elsewhere. What I'm saying is, if I'm not talented musically at all, okay, and you tell me now, you have the same 24 hours I do to get good at singing. No, the fuck I don't. Because I, mean, I, I okay. no, no, they, oh, please, I'm, I'm making a point right now. I'm making a point. I'm making a point. You were born with something that I was not. Okay. So for you to tell me, me and you both have the same 24 hours. What I can say is sure, but my 24 hours developed me to be a fucking. I'm a mechanic. I'm the best mechanic on the eastern coast of the United States That's of America. Fire, but I was born for that. You were born to sing. So a mechanic is gonna look at you and say, "You can't fix a car like me." Is that no the matter. Name of my album. I'm a mechanic. No, I was born to sing. Really? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> I'm a mechanic. <laughs> no, nigga. You said I'm born to sing. I'm like, ooh. I'm a Honestly, that's that's a pretty good name. That's intriguing. You know I mean? you that's know. intriguing. You I fuck with that name. Shit. I fuck with no, but my my whole stance is. I hate that we as humans we downplay each other and we kill each other. Yes, we all have 24 hours mathematically. Yeah. But what happens is you're given, everybody's given a set of skills that they were given. And some people on earth don't have that set of skills. So you can't say we have the same. T- Bro, I played saxophone all in high school. So did Barry. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't think I was giving the gift of saxophone playing. I didn't even want the fucking class. The niggas said, this is what you're going to play. Oh, and wow. if you don't, you fail. And if you fail, you can't play basketball. So what did Jay Willard do? <laughs> because I wanted to play ball? I'll make sure I'm passing this class. But that's what I'm saying. But, but you, but, but you but, were given a skill of basketball. But, but, but wait, what happened was I actually liked the saxophone. Well, you found out. And then I played a lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I became good at it. 
But the nigga who was born to play saxophone right. would then look at me and say, nigga, fuck out of here. We got Masego. the same 24 hours. You got Masego. I got fucking Kenny G, yeah, yeah, who's yeah. dead fucking nice, yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. me like you ain't shit. And you ain't shit because you ain't practiced hard enough. And we had the same 24 hours. No, nigga, get the fuck out of here, bro. You're Kenny fucking G. And that's what I'm trying to say. Let's not downplay. We're dragging it now. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're we're we dragging it. Sorry, guys. We're dragging it. Because we got a whole fucking show to get into. Sorry, guys. We're dragging it, OD. But yes, that's that. Do you, you, got, you got anything else to say before I... Uh, no, no, let's move on. I got a question to ask. No, nah, no questions. I want to see how you feel about it. No questions. What is worse? Being naive and not seeing things or being aware and not changing things? I'm going to say it one more time for the okay, people in the back. Question. I hate this question so much what I want is, someone else to answer first. What is worse? Being naive and not seeing things mm. or being aware and not changing things. Welcome to Willow Wednesdays, y'all. Oh, God. Uh, How you feel about it? Talk to me. I would have to say... i say it again if you need. Being aware and not changing things to me is worse. Mm-hmm. Why? Because if you know, you know. Okay. And if there's something wrong that you can actually change, it's like, nigga, do something. Fuck you. Okay, okay. Whole time you knew this shit. And you could have fixed it and you, you did. You, we yeah. we could have been straight. That's real. I, I like get that it. shit. Uh, I get it. But naive, and, and you know, naive, I can't blame naivete. I love that word, actually. I really do love that word. Oh, you bougie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naivete. <laughs> you shop at Target. Nah, but, but I, 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 bro, I, 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 I don't say I fuck with naive people. I, I can't blame you for being naive to me. Like, I don't think, I don't think that's. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I love you like a brother because uh-huh. you are my brother. And I'm glad you answered it that way because I feel the total opposite way. Talk to me. And now we have a conversation. Hey, now. Um, I personally feel like there's power in knowing something and not changing it until you want to change it. I, I say it again. I feel like there's power in knowing some shit. Right. Not reacting to it, not, af- not being affected by it and not doing anything until you want to do something about it. Now, I feel like you're weak or you're weaker when you don't know nothing, you don't know nothing, you're going with the flow, it's like you're just in the wind, and then when some shit happens, it's like, oh shit, let me react, it's too late. So we believe, so we agree there. But you dis- no, we, 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 we agree that, that the naive part is bad. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, but, but you also have a different concept of... Yeah, because the, the, the question asks what is worse, right? So, so, so to me, what's worse is not knowing nothing. To be just, naive. Yes, to be, to be okay. naive to me is worse. So because, you, th- like I said, with me, there's power in the knowledge. Now, granted, we're asking two fucked up questions. It's like, you want to kill your mom or kill your dad? It's like, okay, either way I'm killing somebody is fucked up. But which one, which one is worse? I am Stupid. <laughs> Which one is worse? It's right in your mouth, though. Yeah. Mm. We can we can agree that we we neither of us like naive or naivete. Naivete. Right. Neither of us like that. Right. The where we differ is where we see the power. Right. I see the power in knowing some shit and not reacting to it right away. Right. And that's why I say. Being aware and not changing things to me is not that bad, because. Well, no, I, I rephrase that. Being aware and not changing things is bad if you have no plan to change it eventually. If you just see some fucked up shit, you're living in the fucked up shit, and you're not gonna do nothing about the fucked up shit, then that's terrible. Right. But if you see some fucked up shit, you're not with the fucked up shit. It's like, okay, I'm going to do this, this, and this to get myself out of that fucked up shit, but I do see it. I may not be able to have the resources to change it now, but I see that it's fucked up and I'm going to. It's kind of like it's kind of like learning how to finesse. Yeah. If I can Yeah. If I can sum it up or whatever cuz mm. 
I've learned that in life. I don't have no goddamn finesse. We know that. I can second that. I blow the yeah. whole shit up. Yep, yes you know, I burn the whole. Yep. Fuck this whole shit. You do. Nigga, it's over. Mm-hmm. I, don't care. <laughs> mm-hmm. I blow the whole shit up. I scorched earth. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, y'all niggas taught me that. Niggas told me how to just be like, chill, damn, just let it, let it be what it's gonna be. Let it ride until you can change it. Until you understand. Yeah, yeah. I, I had to learn that shit. But so that mentality is the reason why I answered that right, way. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Because to me. To me, the absolute worst thing is not knowing nothing. Uh, I got attacked just now. Uh-huh. But one of my favorite one of my favorite clips, like you know, social media always got a fucking clip, but yeah. I gotta save it on my phone to this day. One of my favorite clips is uh Steve Harvey, you know, right before he or right after or before he does the um his show that he does, he'll speak to the crowd directly. Yeah. So in the clip he was saying, um, the stock market opens up at like nine or nine thirty or some yeah. shit, yeah, right? Yeah. And he was told from young, like you wake up at a certain time so you can be up to make decisions for yourself. Because what happens is the stock market opens up at nine o'clock, we'll say, on the East Coast. Right. If you live in LA, you're already three hours behind. True. So if you wake up at noon on the East Coast. You got six hours of somebody who made a decision for you. Ooh. They have told you what gas is going to be. Right. They've told you what the stocks to whatever you're investing is going right, to be. Right, right. You're lost. You're not reactionary. You're not proactive. So if you wake up and you can affect change, you see some shit happening, you move your money. You're there. You're there for it. Wow. That's the best way to to live and w- after i saw that i started modeling my whole life around that shit like you're not going to be able to make a decision about my life that i want that i don't know about right and that i can't affect change on now sometimes you can't affect change if supreme court wants to say some bullshit and it affects black people across the country guess what we got to deal with it until we no longer deal with it but i'm gonna be in the know not knowing, waking up six hours and then going on my day and not knowing that Roe v. Wade got overturned is crazy. Because now if I'm fucking the chick and I'm like, yo, go get an abortion. And she's like, well, I can't. <laughs> Guess what? I now have a baby I didn't want. I'm mad because I'm going to drag this topic now. I'm just. But I'm dr- going to tell you why I'm going to drag. Drag on, which was a pretty good rapper. It's a pretty good rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my nigga. I hate you. <laughs> that record was a fucking bop, a bop. But go ahead, oh, man. Um, I'm gonna drag it only, only because I got two parts of myself. Yeah. Um, one is gay and one is no I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, I mean, but sh- listen, do what you do. I'm just, I'm just LGBTQ. <laughs> that rhymed. <laughs> that rhymed. Oh my God! Nobody do has made that song. Do. do what you need to do, LGBTQ. Just, I ain't figured it out. I just thought about it, but something like do that. Do what you need to do. Uh, LGBTQ. Hey, say do, do what, what you need, need to do. do. Okay, go on, say LGBTQ. Then what the fuck? Do what you need to do. LGBTQ. And plus. Those niggas in the back. Yo. Wait, okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wait, I think that was the first jingle we've had in a while. It's been a while. Okay, okay, it's cool. Been a while. I like that, though. We fuck around it. I damn near want him to cut that. Like, do that's... what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. LGBT. Go, Take... Nigga, go ahead before we get stuck oh, on this. Shit, because now I'm like, yo, cut the camera. <laughs> go to... Turn on TikTok right now. <laughs> shit. We Bro, probably go... created the, the, the fucking TikTok viral. No, no, we we gonna we gonna chop that up for sure. But go ahead. Wow. Go ahead. <laughs> do what you need to do. I uh, forgot what my point was. Ah, uh, damn. Oh no, no, I got it. Cool. I said why well, I want to drag the part about naivety. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, because it's two parts of me, and one part is that person that we're talking about want to get up, learn, go to work, know the situation. But being that I'm an artist, and I've lived half of my life 
artsy. Yeah. I don't want to know if they overturn Roe v. Wade. There's a part of me. That I don't want to know what's going on with taxes. I don't want to know. Oh, I disagree, Dane. I know, but yeah, that's yeah, okay. I, yeah, I get it. I get it yeah. But the art in me is, like, I wasn't given these cards. You know, we talk about the cards. Yep. What I would want is I want to be a complete flower child. I want to walk through life without no shoes. Yeah. Fuck life. Whatever I come up with, however I vision shit. Yeah. I create shit. You know what I'm saying? It changes the world. Mm-hmm. I affect people and affect change. And But it comes from just inside and, you know, being close to God and just knowing, like, it's, mm-hmm. I'm, it's really artsy and, like, like, if I could have it my way, I would be that kind of person. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to have to worry about taxes, You a hotep bro. ass nigga. I, I, whatever mm-hmm. the word is. You, you, you were, you were, yeah. I would, a You were Erica Badu ass I would have been a nigga. hippie, bro. I would have loved hippie world. We just get high. We live off life and. Shrooms and heroin. Fuck it. But yeah. at the same time, I'm creative. Cause I ecstasy. Was, I was, okay. So still on drugs. Like an acid. Okay. We know. We know. Acid, nigga. You tripping. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but if, if you can, if you compare that type of lifestyle there's a part of me that still kind of clings to that because for me, life sucks. And I'm bringing this up because you have to hold on to a lot to be able to finesse, right? Like there's a lot you got to just take in just, just information wise. Mm-hmm. A nigga got to talk to you for 25 minutes and you got to be like, mm, 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 mm. but that's that information still touched to, you know, your being. It's like, mm-hmm. I want to be like, get the fuck away from me. I don't want to talk to you. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't even want your energy. <laughs> For me, I like the energy to come from a genuine, artsy, weird, fucking outside of the box thinker. I'm, so, I'm okay. that kid that laid down in the grass and just stared up at the clouds. No, no, I, I, no, and, and, and I, I understand it. I understand you know, like, it, but I, it, I'm not even but, because but negates what you just said. You, like that was I, I understand. I understand a million percent what you're saying. I promise you, I do. The reason why I have a, a, a problem with it is because yeah. those are the people that are stuck in Never Never Land. To okay. me, they never grow up. Could be, and the reason why I say that, yeah. while you're laying in the grass staring at the clouds, yeah. niggas is making decisions over your life. Yeah. Like, there are, there are fucking rules being made. Right. There are... Fuck, there's shit being passed that would change your tomorrow. So you're laying in the grass, staring at the clouds, dreaming. Yeah. Yes, I get it. Dream. I want you to dream. Without your dream, we wouldn't have the art that you give us. Dame, you give us beautiful music. You give us beautiful art. So I personally couldn't imagine, and this is me bigging you up, OD, but I couldn't imagine my life without hearing a demo track because it's been a part of my life for so long now. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I, how about this? I, I, I'm, on, I'm on Instagram the other day. Somebody who I have no ties to and you have no ties to because I dug deep and did the research, they was like, no, they were in a skate rink. Yeah. And Damo music was playing. And you were not tagged. I wasn't tagged. No. But I knew it because I heard the tag. I'm like, oh, shit, this is a Damo track. Yeah. You've touched the world. I get it. It's a beautiful thing. But at the same time, you're also of the world. And I hear what you're saying. Like, yeah, I said what I would want to be. Y- yes, but, <laughs> but you're also of the world. Of course, you yeah. know when some wild shit happened. Yeah. So, but if, if, this shit is crazy because it puts you on the, the, the extremes. Right. It's either this right. or that. So we have to pick between this but and that. But that's why I said I, I want to just give naive, naiveness no, I, a moment because... I, okay, let me give you one more, and then I swear to God, because I don't want to drag everything tonight. Mm. But children are naive, bro. Yes, but their life is governed by everybody else. <laughs> and but That don't make it a good life. But it don't make it a bad life either. But it can be. If you're a child and you you're... You got the wrong governor. No. <laughs> like, stu- governor? <laughs> stupid. Got the wrong- but no, if you're a child and you're born into a fucked up situation... Yeah. Yes, you're a child. You don't know any better, but you're abused nightly. Yeah. I was saying, like, what yeah. the fuck? Like, you're, 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 your surrounding is being governed by somebody else. 
I feel like it's worse to know that my surroundings are governed by somebody else and not changing it. To answer the question, I feel like that is worse. No, no, I'm sorry, I lied. I feel like to not yeah, to not change it. Nope, nope. I'm, I'm getting confused now. I'm what was happy the two? that you're getting confused. And I'm no, say, I'm not, because we have to pick the two. No, no, but I'm being happy. Being naive and not seeing <laughs> things or being aware and not changing no, things. No, because cool. you, you, you... That makes sense. Now it's the philosoph f philosophical... Philosoph philosophical? Philosophical. There we go. You said what? I said, I, I, you said philosophical? Said civil, philosophical. Okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> no. Um, we are gods. <laughs> it's all right. No, no, but... I, that's why I use kids, because... I can't blame kids for being naive, cause they weren't taught what naive it, what, what it even means. But this they only question, know so much. yes, but this question was not referring to kids, bro. That's true. It's not. I guess it's referring to people who you you, you who have to know. know enough to you, at least answer you, the question. You, you, no, you have exactly. You're, <laughs> you have to know enough for both sides. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So being naive and not seeing, yeah, you yeah, can't. Yeah, They're yeah. like, I don't know shit. Yeah, They're not even going to talk to you in a complete sentence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the fuck <are> you? <laughs> Toys. <laughs> I went to potty. Milk. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck <laughs> you talking about? But no. Being naive and not seeing or being aware and not changing, I feel like this is a bigger conversation. I want, in the comment section, please keep this going. How about, I, 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 good, I, though. yes, I, I, want, I want to see that developed. That's a good one. As we talk about, Everything else that happened this it's fucking week, question. cause it's been a pretty good week. What happened? Give News wise, else. um, you want to go serious? Or you want to go lighthearted? I always want to go light. I never want to go serious. But right before we get to the next topic, everybody, it's just, we start about something we could do. Mm. So, people are making ghetto ACs. What? Yeah, ghetto air conditioners is a real thing. <laughs> ghetto air conditioning. Okay. A cooler. The styrofoam mm -hmm. joints. Cut a hole out the top. Mm hmm Put a fan in it. Mm hmm Have the fan legitimately blow the cool air from the ice. Wow. Yeah. And That's it's ways funny. to like put different tubes and different things and make it blow certain ways. That's and funny. Aim it certain ways and but shit. But then the ice will melt, so you, you always need ice. Yeah. But you get they be like, you got a good hour and a half. Of, of cool air, cool air, because it's blowing the which, ice. Which, if you if if you're in a New York City apartment, it's small. That air will circulate. It's ghetto, but it's a fan. It can work. And I don't know if you ever did it, but I've I've put the fan in front of the fridge before, or put it. In oh, front no, I've of done the, that in front of the freezer. I've absolutely done that. Them days when it's really hot, absolutely. You got no AC for whatever mm -hmm. reason. I put the fan in front of the freezer. And Blow like, this cold air out. Damn. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's some shit. You know. No, that's funny. Let me find out. Hey, man. We should do a video of us trying that. <laughs> like, I'm with it. We build our it. own AC unit. Hey, man. Nah, but. Yo. What we doing, man? Let's go. I want to talk about some funny shit that's happened. R. Kelly? No, R. Kelly's uh, not funny shit. I mean, we, we, we're definitely going to talk about R. Kelly. Uh, but there's a senator um, coming out of Rhode Island. Her name is Tierra Mack. Right, so Tierra Mack is a um, black lady. Black lady. She, oh yeah. She, she's a young black lady. Oh yeah. Um, she was on TikTok. I seen it. Yeah, she was twerking for votes. So she's 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 on her head top. She upside down, ass out, twerking, and then her very next scene was make sure you vote for me, in the next whatever it is. Right. Um. She's been getting killed publicly for this. Like, absolutely killed. But I did some research. I did a little bit more research just to, because that can't be the only story. Why is this the story? Why is this being pushed? Tierra Mack also is trying to introduce a bill in the state of Rhode Island um, between the, the grades 6 and 12, so middle school to high school. She wants a new form of sex education. <laughs> she wants a form of masturbation to be taught because she is a part of the lgbtq community so her curriculum is pretty much called um comprehensive pleasure based she wants to introduce comprehensive pleasure based sex curriculum so do what you do lgbtq 
do what you do. LGBTQ. Um, but yeah, so she she she's on the hook for trying to pass that bill, um, just to you know make kids aware that you don't have to have sex; you can just masturbate, jerk your chicken. I mean, rub, rub your bean, flick your bean, whatever women want to call it. Get your rose toy. I mean, enjoy yourself. But she wants to teach this to sixth graders. So she it's already it's already been a rocky road for her. So then now she she doubles down and says, nah. I'm going to have a video of me twerking upside down on the beach, ass out, for some votes. I wanted to know how you felt about it. Like, is, is this, well, now that you is this great more, marketing? Is this, like, what's going on? Well, now that you explain more, you know, I only saw it from the twerk part. Mm -hmm. You know, because the way the news cycle is, you only get one little blip and then they... That to bring attention to something, to make it make more sense... I'm going to all the smoke and the bullshit when it comes to doing something viral to just make it happen. Mm -hmm. I do think we need to teach kids about masturbation. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but I've been on record telling you that. Like, yeah. Masturbation has is, is helped me not fuck so much. Like, if I just got to be honest, like, you know what I'm saying? We had that conversation with Lamar when y'all was here. Like, because I was taught how to masturbate, it kept me away from just pussy being the only thing that led my life. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, I already know how to pleasure myself, so I'm not seeking pleasure in other people. So it's like if, if I'm fucking with you, well, I'm actually fucking with you. Mm -hmm. A lot of heartbreak there, though, by the way. They don't teach <laughs> if that I'm part. fucking with you, I'm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it got to be like less than 10. It's like your heart going to be broken a lot. But, nah, I, I think we should teach kids that. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to go the other route. I'm going to go what, because she's a politician. Yeah. Right? So, and she's also a Democrat. Yeah. So, Always goddamn Democrat. So, with that, the whole world is like, oh, so this is what y'all do for votes. The Democrats are shaking ass to get votes. Yeah. The Democrats are allowing, not, not allowing, no, no, I'll, I'll go a step further. Black women are now like, the, do we have to succumb to this? It's 2022 and we still showing body to try to push our agenda. We still trying to get butt ass naked so you could take us serious. I am so in the middle on this. This is and, wild. And, and, but, because but, I really do understand that. But I'm also like, but if it works, it works. Why reinvent the wheel? I kind of like. I mean, but, not, but if the wheel is fucked up, Dame, you don't want to keep going with the wheel, nigga. If the wheel is slavery and, and the white people like, if it works, it works. You're like, okay, I get it. No, what? I mean, but if I was white in the 1800s, nigga, I'd have had slaves, too. It, it, okay, it's, it's all, okay. Wow. But it's I get all perspective. I get it. You guys joke. But right. cancel, cancel your side of the room. Don't cancel my <laughs> side. Fuck you. Nope. <laughs> they going to cancel nah. me today. Man. Only because she wants us to take her seriously. Mm-hmm. That's a bad move. Mm-hmm. Um... No one took Kanye West seriously. Okay. When Kanye was running to be a politician. Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't take his politics serious. True. So, Kanye could have got up there and twerked on the handstand, and we just were like, Kanye, sit down. You, you stupid. We don't believe you anyway. Mm -hmm. But the fact that she has to now come, you know, in this business suit and try to have real talk about real legislation, that's what makes it bad. Because why would I take you serious? Do I like it for a viral TikTok moment? Hell yeah! No, no, it's a, it's a great, it's a great viral moment. Amazing. It's amazing. And she killed the handstand. Like if she was, I got the video right here. She wasn't doing bad. Matter of fact, we we we'll drop it down. Show for the video to see. right here. Yeah, like, yeah, we we'll drop it. She wasn't to see. killing it at all. Like she wasn't. I mean, she she wasn't whack at all. Was I mean, like, nah, but she, she, nah, it, she it was I mean, it wasn't great it either. It wasn't great, but I'm saying I'm glad it wasn't like the most, bro. But, but, I do not want to see her. Uh, no, but if she was dropping, no, but if she was, to be honest, if you're gonna do it, you should be wild. You say so, she should just go, nigga. What? Because na because now you gave a subpar twerk, <laughs> you gave an under average twerk, and, and now so wait, it didn't twerk. It didn't twerk. It, it didn't, didn't twerk at all. No, I get it. I get it. I, come on, I'm a rapper. I caught twerk. it. It didn't. it didn't twerk at all. <laughs> it, didn't. it was a bad twerk. Yeah. The person who shot the video, the commentary was whack in the background. Yeah, it was yeah. just, it was an all around bad video. She kind of seemed a little too old to do it. But if she was killing it, we would not be here right now. Like if, like if she was Meg Thee Stallion doing it? 
What? You don't like Meg, but Meg twerking videos be fire. Bro. I, I have, a, I, yeah, I'm not a Meg no, fan. You're not a Meg fan. I'm not a Meg fan. But if yeah. it's my favorite stripper at Magic City, if okay. they, if, if if it was her, nigga, hell yeah, let's get it. But it wasn't, and she didn't look that good doing it. It looked like it hurt. <laughs> it hurt to twerk. She like somebody was holding her up. <laughs> yeah, like it hurt. They just, it was like, yeah. and shoot. <laughs> like Facts. Like, like, like you, put you up there. You got five seconds to yeah, 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 just, yeah. just stay up there for five seconds. But, yeah, but yeah. So if our video was better, we would not be having this conversation, because 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 now we'd be talking about the 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 Rhode Island state senator who violated on the handstand, <laughs> and now we be like, yes, <laughs> kill it. Nah, I, I believe kill that, it. I believe damned if you do, damned if you don't in this situation. Okay, that's real. Because even if she was amazing with it, like absolutely amazing, it'd still be like, we can't trust her. What is she a stripper? How does she know the skill? How does she have this? That's real. You know, so I don't, I don't know, man. Um, but wait, you ain't seen the, the latest Meg Thee Stallion twerk video? I haven't. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm, I'm out of touch. I'm out of touch. Just put, pull up your Instagram. Yeah, yeah, internet real quick. You, internet. Okay. We're going to be doing this live. Yeah. Cool. I mean, so what am I typing in? We keep talking. I just want to know I got you. Oh, got you. Keep talking. Because you don't think Meg, Meg, like, she's like, one of the queens of twerking. I'm, okay, so the, and she got them young knees, so she be doing stuff. People like, yo, bro. You know what? I, I I never get caught up on quote unquote celebrity status because you really just don't like her twerking. No, I. I, I uh, if we're here, we're gonna be here. Let's go there. Cool. I die on this hill. I'm not a Meg Thee Stallion fan, and because I'm not a fan of her, I don't really care for what she does. Like I, I don't I don't Nothing search. Though. But I don't search for her shit. If it's great and I see it, cool. I'll give you props if it's good, but I don't go searching for it. So for you to bring a Mag Meg the Stallion twerking, me, I'm like, I've never seen it because I don't, I don't go searching for that. I, Trying I mean, to find a new one. It, it don't come across my timeline. So, so here's how I found it. I don't it. subscribe to that shit, really. I was just scrolling through, and you know how people do the side-by-side -side videos where they're making jokes? Yeah, yeah. And so basically, she it was an old video of when they was dating or whatever. Mm. And she was twerking so well... <laughs> that the guy, it was hilarious. He was like, nah, bro, you wrong. <laughs> He's talking to Tori. Mm. He was like, you're wrong. Mm. He's like, I was on your side, <laughs> but you can't tell me you shoot this in the feet. <laughs> it's like, you don't shoot feet. this in the feet. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. He's like, I believe everything she said. Because <laughs> like, she was just killing it, it was, you know, at, at some point. And yeah. it was just like, Tori, you was out. I don't know what's wrong with you, bro. Like it was just something. It was it was just a joke. But no, I I, I, I get the comedic. I, 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 yeah, I, I I get it. I, I get it's always it. a new Meg video. I'm just personally not a fan of her. I we, we'll wait for the case to be finished so I yeah. can speak my mind. I can't find it. Yeah, but I, I'm personally just not a fan. I'll, give it to you later. Really. I'll show you later. Yeah, I mean she might be cool as shit. I'm just personally not a fan. But anyway, but now that, we, we, that's, that's a personal yeah, conversation. That is Tierra Mac. Um. You want to talk Rihanna, or do What's you want to talk? About, you want to talk about some music shit? You want you, you want to get to the music section? Let's do music. Cause we got music to talk about. Yeah, I, I mentioned Meg. That's a Nigga. nice little Chris segue. Brown drop. Chris Drake Brown. drop. Drake drop. Um, somebody Beyonce drop. Nigga. Vori. Who? Uh, oh, Vori. Uh, oh no, 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 Vori. No. Come on now. I, I didn't hear you because the fans. I'm sorry. Okay, the okay, all right. <laughs> The fans are Shout so the loud. Fans. The fans I need are so fans loud. To chill. Relax. Chill. No, Vori killed. Vori fucking put out a classic, low Sheesh. key. Yeah. And, um, put out a classic. Yes, he did. Homie who had the auto tune problem. Giveon. Giveon drop. Put out a fucking banger. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's talk music. Yeah. We about to talk music on Willow Wednesdays. We don't go crazy. Wow. But why not? Fuck it. Let's do music, man. No, bro, we're not known for this because you know we. We talk about everything else other than our specialty. Yeah, That's which crazy. is crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Where you want to start? Let's do it, man. Let's just talk new music real quick, man. So, um, so out of everything that dropped that we just mentioned. Yeah. Well, Drake, uh, Drake dropped an album. Yes. Beyonce dropped a song. Chris Brown dropped an album. Chris Brown dropped an album. Giveon dropped a project. Giveon, Vori. Which Vori I had dropped. To keep him yeah, in Vori there, dropped the I motherfucking to it and project. I was like, it's your jam, it's your jam. Mm -hmm. um, what you like? What you don't like? Let's okay. Start from the top. Um, Drake. Okay. I fucking love it. I hate I'm you sorry for that. I'm sorry. 
I hate you for that. Cool. I mean, it's okay. Boo. It's okay. It's okay. It's not a problem. I fucking love it. Um, I feel like what is it? Um, what's the name of the shit? Never mind. I'm sorry. Ne- ne- never mind. Nothing. Like, who cares? Sorry. Man? Never mind. No. What's it? Let's do it justice. Let's do it for real. Let's do it for real. What's the name of the shit? It's bad. I don't. I don't know the name. It's in my fucking library though. Was it? Um, Wait a minute. Never mind. Honestly, never mind. So honestly, never mind. Um, I personally fucking love it. Um, I personally feel like all them shits are slaps. Um, house music is on the rise. Um, I feel like if you really want to get into it, hip hop is hip hop is the only community that, that does not allow our artists to grow. If we're being real, um, in every other fucking genre, you could have punk, heavy metal, soft punk, soft rock, emo music. You could have all these variations of one sound, and we all take it. And love it. But in hip hop, if you're not talking about bang bang, shoot 'em up, gang gang, scamming, fucking women, I'm doing all that shit, we don't wanna hear it. And to me, that's crazy. That also stifens or stifles the progress of a genre. So now we have a hip hop artist who offers us something completely different, and we throw it down and trash it like it's the worst shit we've ever heard in our life. But he's giving us the same sound, just not in a 15-song clip. He gives us a one-off. But the song before it and after it be some ignorant bullshit that we, that we vibe to. So that's where I stand with it. I like the fact that it is different. I like the fact that it is a house record. I like the fact that it's New Jersey Club and Baltimore Club and all these different sounds that he's used in the past, but now he's just said, you know what, I'm just going to do this for the whole thing through. I like the fact that he ended real hip-hop with a 21 Savage record. So so you, I did all this shit, but at the same time, just know I got this too. I, I I like the game that he played. I think it's, 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 I like it. Solid project for me. I'm sorry, that's me. But I've also been very critical of Drake projects in the past. So I feel like for this to be so different and so off and for the world to not receive it, I received it. I like it. This summer is going to be lit. We outside. With this music. I'm dancing on rooftops. I'm outside because of this. What? It's great music. I digress. I think the album was trash. <laughs> Fuck him for making it. Mm-hmm. Um, That's crazy. Because you're not finna make a full album full of whacker shit. That you've already done, but because it has a similar style, we consider that the shit. That's why music is whack now. Because motherfuckers just accept whack shit. Like, and I'm so tired of being like, it's different. You know how easy it is to be different, nigga? To be whack is different. You could get on a song and go, glick, glick, glick. That's different. It's different. It's different. <laughs> Why you gonna it. let an yeah. artist grow? Mm-hmm. Kanye West got so upset that he said poopity scoop. Scoop. That shit was whack. Poopity doop. That shit was whack. No, nigga. but that's the point. The, what's funny is I got more art from that than I got from. I got more art from that because the point of it was. Because how, you're from Chicago. How whack can you go before somebody is like, this is trash? No one th- like it's like bro, you could do anything, and as long as the beat is rocking, niggas bro, is I with could, it. I couldn't disagree more, but okay, I, I I I love your opinion, but I couldn't disagree so that's more. That's my opinion. Drake is a terrible fucking singer. <laughs> Period. I'm sorry. You sing better than Drake. You got that. No, but I'm I'm fucking. No, but you I'm, got Drake nigga, though. No, but I'm legendary. I'm not even nigga. talking shit. You nigga, got Drake. I'm legendary. You got Drake. Fuck I'm, that nigga. I'm, I'm legendary, I hate, bro. Drake, I love you as a rapper. I love you. I love Drake as an artist. The fuck? He's Drake. Mm-hmm. He's one of the goats. But you're a terrible fucking singer, fam. And if you ever see you sing live and you be 
Hey, hey, you look bad when you do it. It sounds bad when you sing it. We know it's bad. We know it's auto. You don't. You don't believe. I don't believe you need more people. You just happen to be at that point in your life where you're big enough to do something crazy, and that's okay. My thing is, I even accept that. 808s and Heartbreaks is my second favorite Kanye album. Kanye cannot sing. We know this. I tell Kanye to his fucking face. I tell anybody well, he Kanye can't sing. Can't sing. He, he can't sing at all. He can't sing. He's terrible. But while I fuck with 808s and Heartbreaks versus this Drake shit, it's Kanye didn't make it because he thought he could sing. Kanye know he can't sing. Kanye said multiple times, I can't sing. But what he did on the album was so impactful. What he did on the album was so impactful. I want to interject. I, I want to interject because Kanye made a hip-hop album with 808s. Drake did not make a hip-hop album. And that's where I feel like the world is split. Because what you're talking about is you're not a great singer. Cool, we get it. Which is fine. You're, you're not the best singer. You but that. you made some hip-hop shit that we can still vibe to. So the community is like, you know what? It's still the elements of hip hop is there. No. What no, happens no. is Drake said, I'm not the great I'm not the greatest singer. You're right. I get it. And I'm also not gonna do a sound that you're used to. No, but we're used to things that sound good from Drake. It don't sound good, bro. They sound good because it was hip hop. No, no, no. Lies. What I better mean? find your loving. I better find your love. That song is hard. The beat was fucking 808s. Nigga, what are you saying? Bro, what the fuck? Come on, man. No, because Drake has done it already. What's that? I, I, I can't even think of the shit. I mean, he'll, he'll do some dance Bro, hall Drake shit. Bro, Drake got some shit. He'll do some bounce shit. He's some club shit, some house shit. Like, he'll do that. He's been, but, but, but it's all centered around hip hop. But this one was not. And does it. But What's oh, that no, song the other no, album? No, Dame, 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 let me go, let me go. Dame, 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 um, passion Fruit, uh, pa, 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 but, but Dame. My shit. Grant, that's one record out of 20. So, of course, when you hear it, because it's so different from everything else, you're going. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, he's literally given you this sound before. Everyone loved this sound when it's a one-off. But, okay. But, but. Because he said, it's, this one is not going to be a one-off. It's going to be a every one. <laughs> okay, so. Now we don't accept it. So. Because how dare you do that? So, I need you to put that same passion and energy in each song here that you put in the one-offs that you gave. So, me as a producer, as an artist, I don't feel that same passion was given. What I mean by that is you know that you're Drake. 50% of whatever he sells is going to sell because he's Drake, period. Yeah, I mean, Do you understand? Just, he's, nigga, he's, it's let's a brand, say he's going to sell. It's a brand we can trust. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know that. Mm -hmm. You know when, it's it's J, when the new J's come out. You buy the shit. 50% of them is already yeah, sold, pre-sold. Exactly. Pre -sold, exactly you yep. know what I'm saying? We know. So, and that's what I don't like. I don't like the artists get off on that shit because you still owe me good music, especially at this I point. Agree. No, I agree with at that statement. At this point. I agree with that statement. At this point in your mm -hmm. career, like. I'm okay with you being different. Be eclectic. Be weird. I just had a whole conversation earlier about how I want to lay on the grass and look at the stars. Yeah. Like, I'm a weird nigga. Like, mm. I love it. What? I cannot wait to do polka music, nigga. Well, fuck polka up. <laughs> fuck you talking about? Like, I'm... Yo, Family Matters, Steve Urkel. That nigga <laughs> played polka music. I'm with it. <laughs> I'm with it. Like... Shut up. Okay. Nigga, you ain't playing no fucking polka, nigga. <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. Mm, fucking with me. You but, too black for poker. <laughs> Even poker doesn't want me. <laughs> yeah, you're no, too no. black for that. But all I'm saying is I, I don't like the fact that you, you, you cheat us now. You, you can't cheat me years later and put it under. I'm going to use your argument against you. Okay. When Drake's last album was out of order and trash, he came back and said, I don't know, it's a playlist. Oh, that shit pissed me the fuck off. So when Drake makes a bad singing house album he's like i'm just trying to be different baby i'm drake you telling me i can't be a different artist in my life baby i want to raise my hand nope I'm, I'm, <laughs> before the world heard it and this is this and this is why i say it's unfair right okay when it came out it was not on the hip-hop charts because it was not a hip-hop record totally fine though no no dang listen, listen to what you just said listen to what you just said 
Drake came out in the past with a hip hop record. The hip hop community did not receive it. And he said, oh, it was just a playlist. That pissed me the fuck off. Rightfully so. This time around, he said, this is a dance album. It's not hip hop at all. I'm not here for you hip hop niggas. All of you niggas who are expecting 808s and fucking beat breaks and bars, you're not going to get that. But I'm telling you this from jump because it's not hip hop. So This here is dance. So you know. So. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm, Dame, let me just go. So. Let me, so. A strong ass so. Uh, so, <laughs> because it's not hip hop. Yeah. And it's not the norm that you, what you're expecting. It's not anything that you want i'm telling you what it is you cannot come on the back and now tell me how you perceived it as because i told you what it was i will say this a hundred times but i want to make this clear i am not upset for drake making dance music period drake makes but you are half the dance music of the last decade no, but dance house, house is house is different. Let me finish. He made a house I album. Am, I am from Chicago. House music started there. Yeah, house no. music was created. Yes, in Chicago. in Chicago. I'll give you that. Yes, okay. yes. Y'all are the creators of house music. Because we got to talk about Beyonce. No, but it's baffling to me that you don't like this. Beyonce made a house song. Her single. You Her didn't single. take my song. That yeah, is a house uh, uh, song. Uh, uh. So Drake's album wasn't house? Not house. Get the fuck out of here, Dame. You're wildin'. It's not house, bro. You're wildin', bro. You're wildin'. Literally, you can Sorry. play you can play Drake's whole album and Beyonce's single. It's the same key, no, it's the not. same tempo. Yes, the fuck it is. And Beyonce's song killed his album, and that ain't even her best song. But it's Beyonce. No, no, it's Beyonce. Like but she'll kill everybody. So let's, like her, let's, let's not her do that. Her subpar house song is better than Drake's whole album. And I said that, and niggas was like, nigga. And I'm like, we, I may, that I may be biased on because I'm from Chicago. I will give you that. Because when you tell a nigga who know what house is, bruh, CeCe Pennison, you got to show me that. that mm. Guess where she from? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know. You know what I'm saying? I know. So, so don't tell me what the fuck house is. Don't. It's like. Stop it. <laughs> that's not house. Just because you're... That ain't house. That's a beat. It's melodic. It's a strong beat, but it's not house just because I, of the beat, bro. But, I, Dame, I disagree. I, and the reason... The, the, we oh, have to wait, agree, wait, wait, wait. Cool, no, cool. The reason why I disagree, because now you're discrediting a whole genre of music. What happens is house music started in Chicago. We get it. Yeah. But when other cities and other areas, other countries hear what you got going on, they make their own rendition of it. Yes. Right? And that is great I need a drink to me. It's stressing me out. Fuck it. <laughs> to me, that's great. Right? To me, if I'm inspired by something or somebody and I take what I heard and then I infuse it into my own shit and then now create something out of it, that's the ultimate form of flattery to me. Yes, but... Wait, I'm, I'm not done, bro. Don't overtalk me right now. I'm sorry. What happens is, if Drake is from Canada and he's just been there, whatever the case may be, they may have been a house scene out there. It may have been. I'm not there. I don't fucking know. But what happens is, they took what y'all did, they introduced what their sound is, yeah, they mean, made it their own. Of course. Cool. So now if he is offering that part, if he's like, yo, this is my contribution to the community. This is what I grew up on. This is what I know house to be. You, it's unfair for you to sit there and discredit that because Baltimore club music is different than Chicago house yes, music. 100%. But guess what? They're both still house. What the fuck are we talking about? Maryland so, music is different, so but they're, they're all still house. So what, here's what I'm saying. It's fucked up to do that. Here's what I'm saying. When I say that they're whack songs. Well, no, but that's Dame. You didn't say me, that before. Me, that's no, different. But, but it's, it's if, if the songs wait, are you, bad you to you, off. then wait, I no, get but you, that. But you cut me off. You cut me off. Oh, you cut me off. God. You cut me off. I, I, I okay. was going to say. We're wrong with it. 
they're wax songs because it's not the same quality. So because it's not the same quality of what we get from Drake, who is one of the biggest rappers, or the biggest artists of this era, right? So now you want to infuse yourself in another genre, and you're not even going to get a genre what it takes. That's like me saying I'm going to do drill and do whack drill. That's like me saying I'm going to do my version of a fucking New York drill. Let me, and let my me, shit don't hit the way it hit. It's like me, that's me, a whack ass verse. That's my let, interpretation. Let, but of let it. me interject, right? Right? Cool. It's bullshit. I'm a, I'm a new artist. I want to do drill. Okay. There is UK drill. There is Brooklyn drill. Sure. There's Chicago drill. Of course. There's all these forms of drill. Yes. All I said was, I want to do drill. Right. So you, as a Chicago artist, will look at my drill and say, get the fuck out of here. That's bullshit. But that does not make it not drill. It's still drill music. So here's, here, just stay here for a second. Yes. You put it out, and it's whack. Hold on. Just give me a second. On whose let standards? Me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. But no, but. Hold, but you, I got you. If no, you but broke. you can't make a statement. And then just, I didn't finish because you, you asked the question before I finished. It's whack to who? To you. I never finished. Who is it, it whack to? It's a comma. To? Cool. It's whack to who? It's a comma. I said, you put it out. And it's whack. And it's whack. To who? But. that's No, fuck but, you, Dame. I'm sorry. No. Because that matters. It's it whack to who? Because if you let me finish, it'll make sense. Go ahead. Can't argue with the shit I ain't said, nigga. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. It's whack. But. To who? You're already at the point where your 24 hours in a day is different. Bullshit. Bullshit. You 6'8 and with the keys. No, bullshit. No. no. Bullshit. Bullshit. No. Bullshit. No, no, no. Bullshit. 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 So bullshit. no matter bullshit. what bullshit. you put out. Bullshit. It works. Mm-mm. It works so much so. It's bullshit. That because you are who you are. Bro, Drake could not. Drake could not. So far gone, Drake could not drop that album. I cannot disagree with so you. So far more gone, Drake could not put out that album, and 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 the world respects that fucking album. And I'm saying this Bro, because I, he was just up and coming. He wasn't the Drake of today. Drake of today can drop whack shit, bro. And it's like, and I just hate that the world clam, clamors around it. Like, oh my, oh my God. It's like, nah, nigga, this shit is whack, bro. And, and I just be mad that niggas want to just admit the shit, but he's Drake. So it's like you can't say it's whack. It's the same way how you don't believe Jay-Z has a bad album. It's like, yo, some of them albums wet in the shit. The world will tell you, but you as a fan are like, nah, what the fuck is you talking about? Never. Drake fans is like, whatever you do is fire. And I'm like, no, nigga, it's bad. There was a bad vocal. It's a bad recording. It's a bad hook. It's a bad sound. He recorded this bad. He recorded that too long. What the fuck? This is bad music. It's not house. There's no, like, I can point out everything on every song. And I'm like, this is why we don't fuck with it. Now, all the people who don't, all the people who are not music enthusiasts, <laughs> who just like beats, who don't care about lyrics anyway, will vibe to anything as long as you throw it on a beat. As long as it's a good vibe. We know that. Mm -hmm. So, but he knows that. <laughs> He's Drake. So that's why for me, it's even more upsetting. Because you the new goat, bro. You the new nigga. You the God MC right now. You the God nigga. And you want a song signing with some shit that my nigga Jay Willa can out sing you on? I mean, but I'm I'm that nigga. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> but that, you understand, like it's it's I'm annoying to me because it's like, what the fuck? You, but but is this your king? You know what I'm saying? Seriously, fam. To be honest, I when I heard I, I what's it um I, I who the fuck are y'all? That I've been way too yeah, 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 yeah. vibes. When I heard, I was like, <gasps> my soul, so I was oh, jumped out of my shit. But now you just mm, far away, far away, nigga. I'm far away, nigga. Yo, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. And if I was in the studio, I'd be like, shit, whack, fam. And that's what happened. Ain't nobody. He's so big, and I hate when artists get that way. Kanye got that way to where he could say poopity scoop, and niggas like, yeah, the fuck. Why you? Yo, where your real niggas at? It's like, bro. If I would have made Drake's album, fam, you. Jack, stop. Nope. <laughs> If I did, I know I spilled the shit. I tried to front. I spilled. I spilled. But if I did that shit, and you know I could sing a little bit, you'd have been mad at me, bro. A little bit. 
You'd have been mad at me. No, I'd, I'd not. I would have been. Uh. Jay, would you not have been mad at me? That first track that comes on, that one that she said, "Oh, it's just a vibe." Is it you? You shooting them bail, nigga? If that was my track, you know you'll be like, "Dang, <laughs> like, we know, we know you can sing, bro." So it's like, so so why is it okay for him and it's not okay for you know? Like that's weird to me. That's weird. It's weird. It's like it's it's, it's weird to me, bro. If that was Music Soul Child next single, why? Uh, but you, I'm just saying, just name a person. No, no, if that I, I, was, get it, I get it, I get it. Low key, if that was Beyonce's song, we'd be like, B. If Ray J put that out, but to be, to, can we can we progress the conversation? Please, but but I think now you're kind of getting what I'm saying. No, I, I'm, I'm not. I don't. You I, still don't get it. I, I still disagree you just with you. Disagree with everything. No, I, I, no. I fought my case. I pleaded. I screamed. I spilt. I say this. You still like fuck I, that, bro? I understand what you're saying. What you just disagree? I just disagree. Like, I, I, that's I it. I leave it alone. I leave it alone. No, but, alone. I, but, it. Bro, I, I get what you're saying, but I disagree. You disagree. For you, it's the I, most phenomenal album ever. I can't look at an artist that's doing something that they've already done. Give but, it what but you But now need. they're giving a whole sample of it. And now because it's not wrapped or shrouded in the, the, the fucking realm of hip hop. I'm not asking we don't, for that. We don't feel good to support it. No, it's just and, whack songs. But and, and that's why I disagree. I think the songs are great. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. I I so, think the songs are great. So once again, agree to disagree. So we just, we, yeah, and that's why I said what I said earlier. I, we're just gonna agree to disagree. We're just gonna fight. All right. I think the songs are great. All right. Fair enough. The Beyonce record. <laughs> Did you feel like that was great? You can't take my soul. You can't take my soul. You want to know what I know now? You can't take my soul. You want to know what I... What I uh, 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 you want to know my real opinion? I'm telling everybody. But I'm going to tell you some shit, though. Everybody. What she was doing, absolute classic house. But for some reason, it's like not in key. I don't know if you hear what I hear. As a producer, it's a key issue. I don't know if it's just a sample... Or the auto tune, something about it is out. It's like it's like, I just want to be like, yeah. And it's like there it is. It's something about it that's. It's a reason why the people are like, I fuck with it, but they also like. Something's off. Something's off. Yeah. Do am I wrong? Do you not hear it, or you don't hear that? No. I, I'm gonna say me. I don't hear that. Okay, I don't. Fair I don't. No, I don't fair. hear that. I don't hear that. I hear it. But the engineering thing, like, I don't but know. But you're also engineering extraordinaire. I hear some shit. It's just that I like it or I don't like it. It's not in key. You hear the, the technicalities of it. Yeah. The song's not in key. And it's so weird. It's like a tinge off because the slow down sample. And you know when you sing over samples? It's really tough. You slow it down and it, 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 the pitch is all fucked up. There's a part of it that is it's, it's pitchy in a way. For the people that, that don't, once again, we don't get to talk music. Something about the Beyonce song is just super pitchy. Not pitchy like like, um, like, um, like sharp or flat. It's just not the right key. And so it's like they basically created a song that was close to the song. Hmm. I don't know if, okay, so my bad. That's hmm. why I don't want, see, that's why we don't talk so, we don't get into heavy we need to start another podcast so we can get that deep, though. But to be honest with you, this, but this is why we don't talk music on Willow Wednesday. Yeah, because it gets because we get into the technicalities yeah, of the recording yeah, process. Yeah. It, it's a lot. Right, I'm it's with a it. lot. So that's boom. Chris Brown, what's up? Huh? What's up? Chris Brown, what's up? What's up? Talk about it. Great album. <laughs> it to is. me, I, it is. I can't lie. I fuck great with album, start to finish. Um, he did what Chris Brown fucking does. He gives us great music. Um, I, mm, okay, so there was a couple of lows to me in the Chris Brown project after hearing it. The ESTG verse is bad. Why does everybody keep bringing that up? It's bad. Was it that bad? It's a bad verse. But, shockingly, the Lil Baby verse was bad. Yeah, that was a bad Lil Baby verse. Bro, Lil Baby never has bad verses. That was a bad verse. But, yeah, that- Well, not bad- (laughs) <laughs> but bad for him. No, no, no. It was no. Fuck that. It was bad. No, nope. Bad, gonna, bad or just bad for little baby. Bad. It, it was bad. Okay. 
One, what are you talking about? Two, you sound bad. Three, <laughs> what the fuck was going on? Like, it's bad. That whole record to me was bad until Chris Brown came and saved the day. But I would not be surprised if Chris Brown designed it to be that way. Oh, 100%. Yeah. It don't make no sense. How do, how do all your features stop? How you got feature, 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 no features for like eight songs? One more feature in the end. It's like, what? I, I think he, des- I, he, he definitely you designed it. But think, that record was bad. Be- I think Chris Little Brown. Baby versus Loki, I think terrible. Chris Brown is finally listening to us. And what I mean by that is we had a conversation a few weeks ago about how Chris Brown don't have his version of his thriller or his confession. But he's also his- more talented than Michael Jackson. I'm over that. You're mm-hmm. not going to bait me again. Okay. What I'm saying is. <laughs> I, I love think- it. I think that um, Chris Brown, I think he wants to create his his one. Now, I think for Chris Brown to do it, he has to do a little bit of what Drake is doing concept-wise. That nigga need to take his shoes off and go lay in the grass. No, for real. Because what happens is... Yo, can the name of this episode be Lay in the Grass? I don't know. Sounds weird when you say it. No, but, but, but we, we've literally talked about ad nauseum tonight about being so artistic that you just lay in the grass and see what's happening. Uh, man, I know, no, maybe. Keep going, keep going. I, I but find no, it. no, but I, no, no, but seriously, um, I think that that's the thing that Chris Brown is missing to me. He's one of the, the world's most incredible artists. Absolutely. But. And I was, I don't know, did you see his interview on Drink Champs? Yes, I did. And even he said, when I lose my inspiration, um, I watch Michael Jackson videos. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I watch the old shit. Because, man, if I got to take it all the way back to the beginning, I didn't get to say this. When you talked about the difference between being the, the artsy creative person and then the fact that somebody else is controlling your career. Yeah. That's literally what killed Michael Jackson. Agreed. Well, that and drugs. But we yeah, don't even know yeah, if that's yeah, true. Yeah. You know no, what I mean? No, no, Fake n- news. N- niggas know. No, niggas know. But it was. That's what he, at the end of the day, that's what he dealt he with. He made his- a song singing for Adderall. <laughs> you know that song. Adder- okay, I- Adderall. Nah, stop it. Adderall. Stop it. Like, no, we, no, we, we know that song. Stop we know it. that song. But he did that. But that was his problem. That lives forever. He wanted to be the flower child all the way into his 50s and 60s. Mm-hmm. At this point, fam, it's weird. You in the bed with kids. You mm-hmm. fucking still riding bikes at 46. Nigga, get your punk ass out the guy. You know what I mean? You singing the drugs, Adderall. That wasn't all I'm saying. <laughs> that was a Cat Williams joke. Stop no, it. No, I, I, I saw the shit. Stop it. I've also heard the song. I've heard Stop it. it. Fuck you, I heard it. I heard the record. At the end of the day. That nigga was singing to a drug, Adderall. Adderall. I think I, um, I, think I, I heard the shit. Chris Brown needs to figure out his, his opus. Um, Do you have your opus yet, musically? I know we get nice. I can no, tell. No. I can see it on you, but I, but I want to. I'm curious. Uh, to, to be honest. Musically, do you have. Like you say, I have created fire. Yeah, yeah. I have created Look the what album. I've created. Is this have you created your opus? I can say no. Mm. And that's what but that excites me. And that's the, the, the catalyst to continue to create. That's a lot of C's. <laughs> My the bad. Catalyst, catalyst to, to continue, continue to, to create. create. I was like, yeah, okay, I'm coping, yeah, I'm with, the, coping with, the, with, with the confidence the cat- of this the, <laughs> crazy. The, but no, God. because of that, I'm going to answer the question. I'm going to say no. Yeah. But then I give you the reasoning behind it. Okay. I, 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 I haven't had the catalyst to create some Whatever. crazy concept. concept for you to consume <laughs> consistently. <laughs> Conversationally, <laughs> with your coworkers, 
as you convene Bro. conveniently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we you out here. Like, nah, it's real shit. Out here. Niggas know words. It's real shit. It's real shit. Okay. What, uh, what you want me to do? You just went silent. It just went real quiet just now. I was thinking of more C words, honestly. Wow, you over here thinking of that? Could I, 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 We can stay here. We can keep going. What you want to do? Nah, we tried. To, we that was our attempt at a music session section. We don't get that better. I, 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 I would say it's an attempt. We talked about what we liked and what no, we disliked. No, we're gonna, we're, gonna get, we're gonna get better at this. We got. We gonna learn how to re reintroduce the music without it being too long. Facts. We gotta get better at that. Cause you know what? It's it's, it's crazy. Our demographic don't like when we talk about music. We wild. actually lose followers when we talk about music. It's true. But that's our specialty. It's crazy. Yeah. Nah, yes. I don't know. Yeah. They, they want to hear relationship shit. They we should hear... have a whole music show at some point. Like, maybe a different part. That's what I'm saying. I think I'm trying to... Well, maybe we got a show we just talk music. We need to build some music we can do. We can do that. We can yeah, do that. we just break down shit. Because I, I feel like, you, bro, you have a lot of valid shit to say, and I feel like I do as well. Nah, nobody listen to you. Uh, you're right. You're right. No, no, you know, you're right. Fuck no, me. No, but what we got, man? We got some serious shit that happened. We got a lot of shit that happened. Yeah. Um, and uh, fuck it, let's do it. There's another mass shooting on the 4th of July. <laughs> Damn, on the holiday. On the holiday. Yeah. Highland Park, Illinois. Highland Park, that's north. Yeah, so I'm not going to say, I'm, I'm not going to say Chicago is wild because no, it's no, not it's Chicago, Chicago. Yeah. But... It's in the same state, Illinois. White boy, nigga still get blamed. Runs up to the <laughs> white boy runs up to the roof. Yeah, shoots everybody. There's 30 people injured as of right now. It's seven people that has died. Damn. As of now, there's still there's a bunch of niggas still in, still in intensive care. That had still, to be automatic though. That was automatic. Bro, he yeah, had a, he had an automatic rifle. He had an AR. Yeah. So, Fuck. um, I'm uh, let me get the nigga name. It's uh Robert Cremo the third. Cremo? Yeah, Robert Cremo the third. Um, damn. Seven people killed, uh. thirty nine injured. Woo. Um, we're also talking about a holiday. So they were at the parade. Their city threw a parade. They all pulled up to a parade. He this, aired out the parade? This nigga went crazy. Shot any and everybody from a roof. Um, there were parents, mother and father, who died, but the kids survived. So imagine that. It's like it's it's, it's a lot of fucked up shit that's happened. Um He also dressed as a woman. Oh Miss what? Da- yeah, yeah, Miss Doubtfire. He dressed as a woman so he can Hello. escape. Stupid. <laughs> Sorry. So he can escape in the crowd without being seen. I, that's smart, though. Him as a person, he got tattoos. He's a white guy. Yeah. Bangs or the hair for bangs. He had like the, the 60s, like Bob cut. Yeah, yeah, like, the Bob cut. With your hair? But he got tattoos all over, so he yeah. dressed up as a woman so his identity would not be easily. You know I'm that's saying? a new one. You know what I'm trying to say? It's, it's a lot that happened. Um, I didn't know that, though. He yeah, did not Ro- get shot. Robert Cremo III, after he killed seven people and shot 30, right. he walked to his mom's house, got in his mom's car. It was like a Nissan Versa or some bullshit, some bullshit car. Damn. And he was then, hours later, caught in the same car. They took him out. Drew guns on him, laid him on the ground, put him in handcuffs. He's now in custody. He's okay. He's safe. Justice will be served for Robert Cremo the third. Um, black do, men do, and women. Do you remember al- fam from last week? Black men and women in this country, we don't get that treatment. We get shot sixty times. Sixty times. What's the name? I'm sorry. Oh fuck. I, That's what I said. I, I don't want to disrespect. I don't want to disrespect. We're also ghetto news, so we know, but we don't always know. We're a little tipsy at this point. Yeah, yeah. We making it work, though. Black men shot 60 times off of some, ah, but a week later, 
we have the same situation, but we know the name, we know the suspect, we know that he was taken in custody alive. Mm. Why are they always taken in custody alive, but we are not? What happens? Who was that that made that joke? Dave Chappelle was like, y'all at least got to shoot one white boy just to make it look like. No, but Dame, what happened? <laughs> Dame, Dame, <laughs> what happened? one white boy. No, but Dame, what happened? God. What happened? I could do whatever I need to do f to your community, but because I'm white, I'm live. I, I live. It's okay. I see my day. But if I do anything to anybody else anywhere else, I'm dying. Because how dare you? And you know what? Okay. And what's That's fucked crazy. up to me now at this point is, like, the evidence is so goddamn obvious it's deeper than just the evidence to prove it. It's now, oh, they blatantly just don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, they obviously, the, Dylan Roof took that nigga to Burger King. <laughs> they took him to Burger King. He had a whole Whopper, medium. Fries and a drink. Fries and a drink, You know nigga. that sound when you suck in a straw? That, <laughs> yeah. This thing in the backseat, like. <laughs> he just killed wild niggas in the church. Yeah. So, yeah, at this point, it's not an accident. It's not a, you know, I forgot what they call it. It's a, a, a miscon, uh, where, where you fuck Misconstrue? up. Misconstrue? Yeah, all I'm saying is you didn't fuck it up at this point. Like, yeah, no, no, no. Not it's mad obvious. Not this one. You, nope, it's mad not, obvious. Not this one. It's mad obvious. Mm -mm. You shoot damn near uh, 30 people, bro? They, they, they did say that um, he killed seven people as of right now. He was charged with seven counts of first-degree murder. Um, and they're going to throw hella charges on top of it. That's what they said. I mean, well, fine. If he goes to jail, okay. That's not the point. He deserves to go to jail, my nigga. Mm -hmm. But niggas like you, I'm not even a fan of the death penalty. But it's like, but if anybody needs a death penalty, it's like, God damn. Like, come on, It's fam. this nigga. No, I get it. You know? I get so, it. All right. So then, what else happened this week? Um, a fun one for you. Okay. Um, your big cousin, the Pie Pie Piper, got 30 years. Fuck you, that ain't my cousin, nigga. <laughs> Fuck um, you. Fuck that nigga from Chicago. Fuck all Chicago wins for believing in him and, 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 and. nah, fuck y'all. R. Kelly. Can, uh, are you able to talk about this without emotion? <laughs> I don't think you are. I will, because I love you so much. Can you I will. Try? I will. I will. I will. Because it's important. Lead it. Go ahead. Lead it. Low key, I ain't gotta say that much because the world already knows. Nigga, R. Kelly got thirty years. Okay. Please rock with me. What makes this unpress? What they set a precedence? Precedence, whatever the word is. Because they didn't, R. Kelly is not in jail for raping young girls. You looked it up a few weeks ago. R. Kelly is in jail. They resurrected an old slave code charge. I looked it up. It was made in 1913. R. Kelly as a black man is locked up on some shit from 1913 that had to do with trafficking slaves. And RICO charges. Come on. Wake up. Come on now. Bro, I'm, I'm literally letting, I'm letting you talk. Go ahead. Get your shit off. But he's not... Because when I come, I'm coming crazy. But so good. He's not locked up mm -hmm. for what he did. That is the only thing that's important about this. Mm -hmm. R. Kelly's not right. I don't side with R. Kelly. But my nigga, the crime does not fit. Was it? No, no. The punishment does not fit the crime. So the reason why I hate you and the reason why I will continue to hate you on this subject, I don't hate you as a human. I, don't, I, I feel like I'm a pretty nice guy. No, no, I, let, let, let me retract that. Cause, <laughs> 
you know, they'll take it and run with it. Oh, they hate each other. Uh, nah, I'm going to no. take it and run with it. That's going to be on my TikTok. I hate you. I oh, hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Like, see? I'm going to say this as I get in my bag, because now you done pissed me off. I put my drink down. Um, what happens is, <sighs> we're not saying or we're not blaming, we're also not causing disparagements. That's the word? Whatever. Go with cool. it. Cool. We're not saying this is the reason why we don't fuck with you. We know that a, a lot of things would have happened for us to get here for then you to be convicted, right? But with that, we're not going to discredit the shit that has happened, right? And what happens is he did a lot of wild shit. He did a lot of such shit. He did a lot of illegal shit. He did all that in a, a period of time. So with that period of time... We are now judging you, and your behaviors matter. He was wrong. Consecutively, constitutionally, fucking stately, like what, whatever you want to bring in or introduce, he was wrong. It's, it's bad business. Fuck him for that. <clears throat> um... I hate the fact that people are trying to say either this is old and we shouldn't convict or look at what this person did and they got that, but he's getting this, so why are we okay with him getting this? I hate that shit. You did some fucked up shit. The whole world knew you were fucked up. Everybody saw you do fucked up shit. So with that, I'm not giving you that blight. I'm not giving you that benefit of the doubt. I'm not giving none of that shit. You did some fucked up shit. Take your time. You're done. You're done. What bothers me, and this is the part that will always bother me, I have never defended R. Kelly fucking kids. I've told you a hundred times. I lived in that neighborhood. I remember his parties. I got cousins that literally fucked R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. It was wrong. What makes me upset is that it's okay if Drake does it, if Trey Songz does it, if no, Sing, but but uh, wait, just just let me please. No, cause, no, cause I just want to finish. Have they been proven to do that? What the fuck? Yeah, but what happens is, yeah, who? it gets thrown out. It gets thrown out. It gets thrown out. With R. Kelly, you get to the point where you can't throw out fifteen. Trey Songz and locked up mad girls. Motherfuckers is locked in his basement right now. <laughs> I okay, so I, I will say this. I. I will say this. Well, no, 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 because damn it. No, no but they I just are, want to I, finish my point. No, I, no I'm, spe I'm speaking to the Trey Songs thing. I personally believe that Trey Songs also is a piece of shit, and Trey Songs also is following in the footsteps of R. Kelly. Of course. And because of that, I, I'm gonna say it. I don't fuck with Trey Songs. He's a but, piece of shit. Okay. So then, boom. So, let, let's go on. Let's go on that. Let's the go on fuck? That. Wait, no, no. Let's go on that. Yeah, shit. Stop. But let's go on that realm. Say, cool. say here for a second. Yes. Let's go say, take your emotion out of it. Okay. I'm saying it's emotionless, meaning I, I don't have a feeling. I'm just speaking yeah, no towards dog it, in a race. Right. What I don't like is you can be a black man that's great, and for some reason you get killed or locked up. You can be a black man that's bad, and you don't get caught. But for some reason, they still find a reason to either kill you or put you in jail. Good or bad. What I'm trying to say is we don't fucking win, period. And that's the part that's crazy. Bill Cosby won every fucking case. They still made up some chick. Well, back in, you know, in 92. Like, God, stop. 
No, they didn't make up shit. Danny. They making up like it's like okay, y'all, goddamn, like he was they found guilty of touching uh, women inappropriately. But that's not making up shit. No, but it is because they was what Jay. They Dame, was, if you're touching women inappropriately, Jay. you did some shit. They was just in the 70s fucking and getting drunk. You know if a motherfucker came through and said, how many motherfuckers you got drunk? We was drinking together and we fucked. That's what happened. Mm. That's literally what happened. You lucky your shit wasn't recorded back when you was younger. What shit? I never raped nobody. What the That's fuck are you the talking thing. about? It's not rape. So okay, so let's talk I about. I never it. took advantage of nobody. What the but, fuck? But is it rape? All, uh, nigga, let me if, finish. If your if your encounter is not intoxication, could be rape, bro. That's Go what ahead, I'm saying. Dan. Go ahead, Dan. Continue. Continue. So Continue. and here's the part that keeps fucking me up. Because you're bugging the fuck out I'm right now. I'm not bugging out. No, you are, like, bro. I'm Go not. Go ahead. Continue. What happens is, what the fuck is you talking about right now? What? What are you what talking about is, right now? What happens is, when they finally lock these people up, right? They're not locking them up on the fact that the shit, like, like what we're emotionally mad at, that's not why they're going to jail. And that's the part that I'm, I'm really trying to explain this to you, right? Like, Bill Cosby, at the point, it's like, my nigga, like, he won all them cases. The same way Michael Jackson didn't touch the little boy, he won. Like, motherfuckers so is winning, I'm, I'm, and winning, I'm, and winning, and winning, and winning. And so I'm, what I'm, they... I'm, I'm going to tell, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you doing, something. I'm what gonna, they end up doing, fam, is ahead. manipulating the law. Mm -hmm. And in mm -hmm. that case, that's weird because, once again, bro, we just talked about a white boy that could do whatever the fuck he want to do. What I'm saying is, yeah, you might have that one black man that might... Yeah, okay, he was definitely involved. You know, he's like, okay, you was involved, fam. Got you. But it's like, but you're not even getting locked up for what you involved in. You, they just they they made a reason to lock up R. Kelly. They created it. They said, you know this shit from the black and white era, 1914, when niggas was even niggas like we, let's lock them up on that. It's like, yo, what the fuck, yo? They did that shit to old, yo, um, like they do that to all the celebrities. Like you don't notice the pattern. R. Kelly was on camera having sex with the 14 year old. Won that case. Didn't prove it. Swear to God on my life. He Bro, did not win that case. He did. Because that case was involved in this case. And no. he got charged for that. What the oh fuck God. are you talking about, no, Dame? No, 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 no. Dame. They threw, what do you, they, they, no, 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 they no, threw no, that no. evidence out. Dame, Dame, stop it. No, no, Dame. I, I'm, I'm going to save you from yourself. I'm going to save as you. As much as I believe Dame, it. Dame, no, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to save you from yourself. And I'm just going to chalk it up to the fact that you don't know. I'm talking about right now, his 30 years that he got, I know what they said, they ran it down. He was on camera having sex with a 14 year old. That shit came up in this verdict. So don't speak out of turn, nigga, you're of wrong. Course, no, I'm not wrong here. That case, that's the case that he got oh free my from. God. I hate black people, bro. No, I'm just I, saying. No, no, no I, I hate black people because no Listen. matter, with, with our idols, no matter what we do and no matter what they do, I think you just, you, you we miss, still fuck with them because they're you, our idols. You're missing, you're missing my point. No, but you're, you missed my whole point. You missed my whole point. My whole point was you said it was an old case. No, I didn't say it was an old case. Yes, you did. No, no. What I, what I said was... <laughs> Why he got locked up oh my God. is the same thing that Young Thug is locked up on right now. Pedo no, Young Thug is locked up on fucking... Rico, say it. R. Kelly is I locked killed up. niggas. I ordered hits on people. What are you saying? It's not the same shit. Young Thug, Young Thug ordered the death of multiple people. I trafficked drugs. I killed people in my community. That's different than R. Kelly. It's not the same shit. What are you saying, Dame? When, Jay, That's the same shit? Do you realize that when you say Rico, Rico means, it doesn't mean that you did it. It don't mean that you did it. It means that you was involved. It means, no, no, no. no. No, bro. It means I ordered it. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Dog, it don't, for real. If you get hit with a Rico... It's racketeering in, in conspiracy to commit, literally, Rico is racketeering in conspiracy to commit 
I forgot what the O is. Oh, whatever O <laughs> is. O, O something. <laughs> organized crime. Boom, I got you. So does that mean that you killed somebody? It means that you racketeered, which means you set the play in motion to commit an organized crime. What the fuck are you talking about right now, Dame? But that is very easy to do. It's not easy if, to do, Dame. If they can Dame, place you, I'm not wilding, and wilding. it's okay. Dame, that is wilding. easy to do if Dame, they just wilding. place you in the situation. No, Dame, you're wilding. Yo, we've seen this a hundred times. Dame, you are wilding So right I'll now. tell you, I just saw it in a TV show, and I'm mad I saw it in a TV show, but I, I saw it, and it was good because it, it explained it very well. Explained it very well. In Chicago, it's mad niggas locked up on RICO charges. And let's go fuck, the, fuck them, right? Let me give you a version of RICO charges. Your mom gets locked up because they find drugs in the house. But it's your house as the, as the parent, right? Your son has drugs. He's selling drugs. Fine. Got you. They find drugs in your house. It just so happened that your son is in a the gang. They then say, well, you're the kingpin. Because the drugs was in your house, this is your worker, he's working for you, you orchestrated everything. And you're like, I don't even know this motherfucker selling drugs. What are you talking Rico. That, what they do with that law is it's an easy way to put that on black people, bro. And then when that don't work, they can go back to the shit that R. Kelly got locked up on, which is called the Man Act, which is the shit from 1914. So whether you're doing it or not, and so what happened is, and I need you to just hear this one little part. I'm listening, bro. It set a precedence because it means that no matter what, you could lock a nigga up, bro. They stopped Miranda rights. You, you, we talked Facts. about it. We talked Facts. about it last, last week. week. Yeah. They stopped Miranda rights. You also can't appeal if you got a fucked up lawyer. Facts. And a fucked up situation. Now you can just talk to me and call me Rico. Bro, Barry selling drugs right now? Guess what? We got Rico charges, my nigga. Because, you know what I'm saying? Do you understand? Like, what the fuck, fam? The hardest record is coming out of my life, nigga. <laughs> I'm rapping OD, no, nigga. No, don't do that. What? Cause if, if Barry get caught up in a Rico, oh, if Barry, nigga, I, I know I'm going no, no, down. You miss it. What I'm saying is if Barry's literally selling drugs, we get Rico charges. We go to jail. Well, no, accessory to a crime. But No, not accessory. Ringleader. Because it's Willow Wind. I mean, you know. Yo. And that's why I said I got the hardest bars, nigga. What? My next record going platinum, nigga. What? My next record going platinum, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? Yo, Barry, don't sell no drugs, bro. You going to no, get J-Lock the fuck up. Barry, sell all the drugs, <laughs> nigga. Sell all the drugs. <laughs> what? We outside, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about? I ain't nothing to do with it. I'm only going to produce it, but nah. I ain't going to do shit exactly, else. Exactly, exactly. Like, I ain't going to do shit you else, You made though. the beat. You engineered it. Oh, fuck that. Yo, that's crazy. So that's what I'm, but all I'm trying to say is that's what they do to us, fam. That's what they do to us. Mm. What haven't, Wait, what time is it? What okay. haven't we spoke about? We good. What haven't we spoke about? I don't know. Uh, we argued that, about. That happened this week. You want to talk about one Yo, more thing? It's been a crazy we week. The fact that we've been going this far has been a crazy week. What else? Do you have anything else? I got, I got a couple shooter, things. We had the we had Beyonce, we had Nigga, I, I, you want to talk about Rihanna being the the the, the youngest self-made billionaire woman in the world? <laughs> $1.4 billion? You want to talk about that? That's fire. That's amazing. Yeah. How about that? Let's give her flowers, and then we move on. Yo. Rihanna has impressed the fuck out of me. Yeah. She's made me so proud. I fucking love Rihanna. Yo, Bari's still waiting on that album. No, 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 yeah. Bari gonna I continue. Know <laughs> the album is not coming. <laughs> it's not coming. It's over. Bro, she's now a multi-billionaire. She's a fucking... What is it? The stat? You said she's the... She's the first... Uh -huh. No, no, I'm sorry. She's the youngest... African American woman, okay, to be a billionaire on the Forbes list, like, wow, that's what she is. Salute! I wish my pew 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 pew. Yeah, we got we got to get our, our fucking get back to the, sound. the soundboard, bro. We need the fucking soundboard. But no, Rihanna, she's now worth one point four billion dollars. Mm. She became the youngest self made billionaire woman in the history of history. 
That is fire, bro. That's super fire. That is crazy to me. That's amazing, man. Salute Rihanna, Queen. We love you. Shout out to their baby. No, but but to be honest, shout out to fucking ASAP. I knew you were that. Nigga, what? You you talk about locking the baddest of women in? Yes, you lock that woman in. It's only a few. You shoot the club up, nigga. I wanna I wanna baby with you. You can't tell me that the ASAP ain't look at that. I was like, now I ah, I'm not I, going the fuck out of here, bro. I think in order, and I'm going to say this the way I say it. I mean, think about my order. I think the baddest women that you could date that exist is number one, Beyonce. Agreed. Jay got that. Yep. No, I'm leaving order. I'm going to say number two, Kim Kardashian. Nope. Fuck now, Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Not because. But, but me personally, fuck Not it. personal, but. Notoriety, stature, life, stature. No, I, I get, it. I get it. lifestyle. Like, yeah, I get it. It I totally get it. makes sense that Kanye would pick Kim Kardashian. Kim, yeah. next. Yeah. Beyonce already taken. Yep. Yep. I mean, if you want to be the highest, highest of the highest, you height, height of the highest, you go for Kim. Kim is next. That's real. Who's third? Rihanna. Rihanna. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's why when, when Kanye picked Kim, I was like, oh, that's power moves. Because you already know her history. You know what she do, but yep. you also know what she do. You know where we're heading. And where is Kanye now? He got 17 kids with her. He's a billionaire. billionaire. So I was like, that makes sense. Where's Jay-Z? Billionaire. billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Yeah. Where's, where's A$AP Rocky? Rocky? He about to be a his boyfriend. <laughs> Bro. You know? Wow. So it's one of those. I think those are the three, like, catches of the world in this day and age. We're going to look back at this 20 years later. Like, like how Marilyn Monroe yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. was Hind- the shit. Hindsight. If you but had Pamela Greer in the 70s, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, Marilyn, if, Marilyn, if Marilyn Monroe had billionaires in her timeline, niggas would be billionaires. But we uh, we evolved from we that. We evolved from that. Yeah. We course. evolved from Marilyn Monroe to fucking Paris Hilton. Right. So we evolved. So I get it. You know what I'm saying? There was a time where it's like if you date Paris, you the shit, bro. Nigga, you was that nigga. I never even liked Paris, but I was like, I date Paris just for the stature. Just. Ca- fuck you, ca- mean? We'll all still date Oprah. Nigga, who would it? <laughs> I mean, the fuck? fuck. Yeah, yeah. Let me be Gail. I don't care. I would. Yo, Dale is. Gail, Dale. I called her Dale. Who? Dale has always been finding the Oprah, by the way. Who? They both are like, eh. No, they're both weird. Yeah. It's weird. But it's Gail weird. just, I just want to point out, Gail looks better than Oprah. If I had to pick. Bro, I, Gail or Oprah? That, so that's your opinion. That's you your think opinion. Oprah better than Gail? I, I'm not attracted to Gail at they're all. They're both zeros. But no. I, well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if I got to go .5 or point negative .5, I'm just saying, it's both bad. They get no, like, Gail is bad, bro. Gail is really bad. She's worse than Oprah, though? I see Gail like I see fucking Manny Fresh. Like, yo. like you're still a nigga. So like, if you had it, so, <laughs> yo. No, I'm sorry. This is really ignorant. It's really ignorant. End of the world. No, this is really There's ignorant. two women left, Gail I'm, and Oprah. I'm, I'm taking Oprah over Gail. Yeah? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm taking Oprah over Gail. I mean, okay. We just talking beauty and stature. Yes. Well, not stature, because stature we will all take Facts. Oprah. Oprah wins. Beauty. Beauty. Let's just go yeah. beauty, real quick. Very I didn't superficial. Know this. Seriously. Very yeah, superficial. Yeah, superficial. This is a Very superficial conversation. Superficial is superficially. shit. Superficially. Just Don't talking crucify bullshit. Crucify us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This I definitely a... want to work with you, Gail. I want to work yeah. with you, Oprah. Nigga, like, what? Nigga, what? Come to Willow Wednesday. But if Wednesday. we just talking some bullshit, superficially. Yeah. Facts. Um. Gail over Oprah. Oprah. That's me. Really superficial. It's hard because I'm, I'm sorry. probably going Gail. I mean, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with no, that. No, but it's because Oprah condemned hip hop, so fuck her. Like it's to my ah, to uh, Oprah did she condemn hip hop. She said Ludacris was terrible for the world, and it's like not Luda. Like what's wrong with you? I mean, by the same time, Luda said he had hoes in different area codes. And then named the every area code. So she might have a leg to stand on. Word. The fuck? Look, mind you, I love Luda. I, I'm a Luda fan, so <laughs> fuck that. He said, I got, 
The 404 yeah, 770, no, nigga. All right. It's over. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace. Bow.